Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again for yet another TBR game. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cece. I live in a van. I love to travel for work and I like to read and I have a fun TBR game that makes me do a lot of things if I do not complete my reading, which over the past couple of months, I'm telling you, not good. How does my game work? First of all, we put my laptop to the side. <laughs> I have a number of colors that we pick from um, by playing hook -a duck and these colors correlate to different genres or categories. Orange is for fantasy, purple is for historical fiction, um, a black is for sci-fi ethnofuturism, yellow is for out of comfort zone, and then red is for contemporary. This can be thrillers, romance, whatever plays in the now, and then green is for an arc. Oh, and out of my comfort zone is pretty much anything that I usually wouldn't pick for pleasure reading. Um, that can be non-fiction, even though I'm super interested in some non-fictions, these are often out of my comfort zone. I don't like to read short stories, horror, and um, romance, so these traditionally would be out of my comfort zone too. Now, after picking a category, I draw from these beautiful cards that my friend Adi drew for me, and then we are trying to complete the prompt with that genre, and then, for example, trying to find a friend's five star in that genre. Over here are the books that I definitely need to get onto my TBR pile somehow this month. So these three have been uh, my jokers last month. I haven't read them, so I'm carrying them over. Um, and then these other, f these three, I'm just super like, they're my priority. I already have them physically in my van. And then Queenie is a traveling book that I need to get done. So these are my priority. I also have four wonderful jokers again that my nieces picked. This one was picked by Lucy because it has a beautiful cover. I'm super hyped about this. So thank you Lucy for picking this. Then um, this one because it has a shiny cover also picked by Lucy and then this one was picked by uh, Sophie um, because it sparkle and then this one was picked by Sophie because it looked a little bit like a horror story and she wanted me to read horror so those are the four jokers so if I cannot complete any of these challenges I can pick one of these jokers um, to read instead having said that um, I don't have any other big plans right now that I'm trying to fulfill so let's just get started we have this little pond because I need to do some dishes later on and I'm going to reuse the water for doing my dishes so so from all the books that I'm picking today please put down in the into the comments with a hashtag what you would like to see a reading vlog about I am starting to film at least one reading vlog every single month and I want you your help to decide which book to pick so um, if for example you want I am pilgrim to become the reading vlog of the month you do hashtag I am pilgrim with no spaces between it and then the winner after a, a week or two after the first week or two after I release the video I will choose to do the video about so please help me to decide by voting in the comments <clears throat> all right let's pick the first one. Oh, and the game is over once I have picked two greens so I can progress with my arcs I usually also have a priority in progressing in series Okay, my reading in July was not that great, but I have high hopes that August is going to be better. The first one is purple for historical fiction. I'm hyped about historical fiction. We do not have a historical fiction on here though, and we are doing continuous series. Oh, do I have a series? Let's see, a, a series with historical fiction? Okay, so I found one series to continue as a um, that is uh, tagged historical fiction, and that is the Wayfarer series. Um, uh, that is the uh, the Passenger series, and the book is called Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken. And I'm quite excited to finally finish that series off. Pick number two. Oops. Orange for fantasy. And we are doing 
uh, from the top shelf. This cord needs to retire because I don't have a top shelf anymore at this point. Um, not sure about it anymore. Hmm, fantasy and I'm not sure about it anymore. I'm gonna go with the glittering cord um, because it just could potentially be a little bit too YA romancy for my liking. Pick number three. I can see the colors. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. Where am I? I'm like, just gonna pick with my hands. <laughs> and we have green. But this one was like correctly drawn. All right, and what we do with green? Oops. Uh, wild card. That's awesome. A wild card means I can do pretty much whatever I want. Um, so what do we have on our list? I think I'm gonna go with Safe Harbor um, by Christina Kilborn. I've had this on my TBR a couple of times. I really do want to get to it, but something keeps coming, like it gets deprioritized and I really do want to get to it. So um, yeah, uh, let's go with that one. Pick number four. And this is orange for fantasy. We have a couple of more fantasy on this list, so that would be cool. By the way, any of these I will definitely have to get to, so if you want to pick any of these for the reading vlog, even though it's not a pick that I mention, it's a fair game. Absolutely fair game. Um, and we're doing even number of pages. Okay, a fantasy book with an even number of pages. So Winter Song has 436. I'm not sure if this is like an appendix or something, but even if it is, we would have 432. So we're going to pick Winter Song. Pick number five. Purple Historic Fiction. And for this, we're doing um, a new to be author. So I think for this one, we might choose the wild card and choose um, blood and sand that actually fits the prompt and um, I need to get the wild cards in somehow. Um, it's called uh, the, the Jokers in somehow. Um, blood and sand is a book that plays in ancient Rome if I'm correct and it f co potentially has a uh, not a fantasy twist, but what if Spartacus was a young woman? So like a gender swapped historical fiction. And I'm quite excited about this. So that's what we're picking. Pick number six is red for contemporary. So we still didn't have yellow, red and black. So now we have red, two more. I would love a month where I don't have all challenges above me like dangling above me because any color where i don't finish all the books that i pick i do have to do a challenge check out my tbr game punishment videos where i do the challenges that are correlating with these colors and red for example is show the love and i need to go and pay for somebody behind me in line that means i have to go out and actually eat or drink something where somebody can queue behind me that i can pay for okay so we do red contemporary and for this we are doing a paperback let me see so there's well let's pick i am pilgrim i do think that this is a contemporary um, a young woman murdered in a rundown Manhattan hotel, a father publicly beheaded in the blistering sun of Saudi Arabia, a man's eye stolen from his living body as he leaves the secret Syrian research laboratory, smoldering human remains on a mountainside in the Hindu Kush, a plot to commit an appalling crime against humanity, one threat that binds them all, one man to take the journey, pilgrim. So I think um, if, if you want to know more about this, go check out my... Um, Buffy tag, the spike tag, um, where James Masters um, himself, the actor for a Spike and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, recommends this book to read and this is why I have it and this is what we're picking for contemporary. 
Okay, next pick is orange for fantasy. We still have a couple of fantasy, so that is quite okay. And we are doing, and we are doing a cultural background other than my own. Um, we can go with Girls of Storm and Shadow. I believe that the cultural background is Asian influenced. I'm not sure what area. I don't remember, but I do remember that there was an Asian cultural influence on this. So that's what we're going with. Pick number eight. Purple. Purple for historical fiction. I'm not sure if we still have historical fiction on here. This one could be historical fiction. I'm not even sure what this is. And we have cultural background other than my own. Okay, uh, let me double check if Kindred is tagged as... I mean, I could even pick it without it matching the prompt because it's a joker. But if it matches the prompt, it would be even better, right? Yeah, it's absolutely historical fiction, um, as I thought. And I, uh, I love Octavia Butler and I have not read Kindred, which feels like... Um, a crime. <laughs> um, loving this author and not having read probably the bestseller from like is, is that her most known like the most read book and we have a black for sci-fi ethnofuturism. We almost have all the colors. Yay. Um, most recent buy. What did I buy last? What sci-fi did I buy last? What did I buy last and haven't read yet? We might go with the Joker. And I am choosing Marco Sainz, uh, Die Legenden der Alve. I think that the Marco Sainz epic world is probably one of German's best epic long world fantasies. Um, and I haven't read it. So I just think this because of the way that it's been promoted and talked about. Um, he wrote a lot of quite well-known books um the dwarves and like war of the dwarves um revenge of the dwarves and these kind of um, books and this is now taking the side of the albe which are kind of the opposing party in these first fantasy books i haven't read the first fantasy books um where this is supposed to be like a backstory to i'm hoping that it still makes sense but i kind of want just I'm here for the villain side story and this kind of gives me the villain side vibe so even though my niece thinks that this is horror it's because they're like dark elves etc and I'm actually super interested to get into this but if it doesn't feel right um, because I feel like I need to read the others first I might actually um, DNF this so let's try let's try next pick is arc so we are through this is the last one and the prompt is um oldest on my tbr so which arc is oldest on my tbr it's infinity sun by adam silvera i'm not too sure about this book anymore great when the recording stops and i am trapped behind my table and books but isn't it cool i can move the table so i'm not too sure about infinity sun anymore but i'm happy to dnf whatever i'm not sure about at least if i gave it a fair try um but yeah this is it we have two four six eight ten picks which is a really good amount i'm quite happy with that um i'm quite happy with the books that we have for this month we also um am trying to read um, Sentence to Prison, Queenie and Fires of Vengeance and then the fourth Joker is Blink which is a non-fiction book The Power of Thinking Without Thinking I'm actually quite intrigued about this so this is my month TBR there you go um, I will look over in the next couple of days into the Magical Readathon which I always love to participate in and I'll double check if I want to participate in it and um, yeah oh uh, of course this is not the whole TBR um, all the books that I mentioned that I picked that I have not physically with me are just imagine them on, them on top Wayfarer, Safe Arbor and that's it I think yeah Infinity Sun so yeah this is it uh, let me know if you have read any of these if you are looking forward to me reading any of these i hope to see you again 
back on my channel real soon. Until then, <laughs> bye. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know?